Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MGRmusic.com and in this video we're going to learn five easy slide guitar licks to get you kick-started with your slide guitar lead playing. So as the title of the video suggests, all of the licks today are going to be using a slide. I've got the slide on my middle finger, but obviously this is totally up to you which way you wear the slide. If you're new to slide, check out the getting started with the slide guitar video on the Black Star YouTube channel. And also the guitar I'm playing today is an open G tuning. So once again, if you're not familiar with open G tuning, there is an introduction to open G also on the channel. I'm gonna be using the Black Star carry on guitar for this video and I'm plugged into the Studio 10 6L6 which has a little bit of overdrive on the amp. So each of the five licks we cover in this video can be used as lick building concepts. So as you progress through playing slide guitar and learning more and more ways to play slide, these licks can be built up, extended, and basically whatever you want. Like I said, the guitar is in open G for this, but you can apply these principles to other open tunings as well. So here's the first lick, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So this lick is based around a sliding chord which is using triplets, so that's three notes on every beat. So the first thing we're doing is we're placing the slide across the 11th fret on the G, B and high D strings. And we're picking this three times on the first time we're sliding up to the 12 and hitting it twice more. Then we're doing this over the first three beats. You don't have to be super accurate with the picking because really we're going for a vibe here. Slide guitar is a little bit looser and a little bit messier than sort of conventional playing. So it's okay if you do hit the odd wrong string. And also if you've checked out the introduction to slide video, you'll realize that because we're in an open tuning, we've got a little bit more headroom for making small mistakes. So once we've done that three beat chord run, we're doing another triplet here on the B and G. So I'm just sliding that down from the 12 to the 11. Then moving to the 12 on the G. Picking that twice with lots of vibrato. So here's the slick in full, slow, and then at full speed. Lick number two uses the slide variation on the pentatonic scale. So here's the lick in full, and then we'll break that down. So this lick starts with this descending run here. We're going from the five to the three on the high D. Before coming down on the B and G across the third fret. Then we're shifting to the five on the D and sliding that back to the third. Pick an open D. That goes up to the start of the fourth beat of the first bar. So all of those notes are eighth notes, except that final open D, which we hold for an entire beat. On the first beat of the next bar, we slide back up to this C major chord here on the fifth fret. So here's this one in full, slow, and then at full speed. The next lick is another sliding triplet lick. This is a cool, fast, bluesy rock lick. Here's the lick in full. So this one looks a little harder than it actually is to play. What we're basically doing is we're sliding from the third to the fifth on the D, but this doesn't have to exactly be the third. We're basically just doing that sliding motion into that fifth fret note. So if you don't start from the third fret, that's okay. We just want to hear the motion into the fifth. Then we're hitting the third fret on the G twice. If you do get a little residual slide back to that third fret, again, that's okay. It's quite a loose sounding lick. That happens for three beats. On the fourth beat, we're playing at that fifth fret of the D, the third of the G, but instead of playing that twice, we're going back to the fifth of the D. Then in the final bar on the one and two, we're going on the G, five, three. Now that's quite cool to actually do a slide up to each note. So you go up to the five and back to the three. You don't have to put those little additional slides in there, but they can work quite well. So again, be loose with it, enjoy it, and if there is a little bit of sliding noise, that's okay. So here's this one in full, slowly, and at full speed. So 
So this full flick we're going to talk about is a great way of following the chord changes in a G blues. This uses the 145 chord, which is a G, C and a D. Here's the lick in full and then we'll break it down. What we're essentially going to be doing here is we're going to be framing some chords with some three note chord shapes. So I'm basically going to be playing this major chord here, which is a G at the 12th fret. Then I'm also going to be playing the four and five chords of a 12 bar in the key of G, which is a C and a D. So I'm going to be playing these chords in a very particular order. We're going to be doing triplets, but the first part is going to go like this. So what I actually did there was I slid up to the 12th fret, which is the G, that's my root note. Then I picked the B string and back to the G. Then on the high D, I actually came down a fret to the 11, slid it back up. Then I'm coming back up the chord. So that's essentially two groups of triplets. One and a, two and a. So I'm repeating this for each of the chords, including that one fret drop. So after the G, I'm going to go to the D. And then the C. And then I'm going to end the lick just by sliding back to that G major. So this is really cool if you are playing a 12 bar, not to necessarily play it in that order, but to conceptualize this and follow the chord progression. So here's that lick in full, slowly and at full speed. And the final lick has a little bit more movement around, so we're going to be coming up the fretboard and then down a run. So here's that lick in full. So this lick starts off by running up a pentatonic scale along the high D strings. So we're starting on the third fret, up to the fifth, up to the eighth. The next note is the tenth, but I'm going to pick the eighth again and slide up. So that is the first bar, that's one of those notes on each beat. When I slide up to that 10, I'm going to hold that note across the first beat of the second bar as well. Then I've got this little descending run. So what I'm doing there is I'm sliding from the 12 to the 11 on the B, then hitting the 12 on the G and D, and then finally on the G, 11, back up to 12. So that final run is quite quick, it's notated as 16th notes, but you can use that as a concept and slow it down if you wish. When trying this lick, you may have noticed I was doing some muting on the ascending run there. So as I was playing these notes, I was actually deadening the string with my third finger. I wanted that to be a sort of choppy rhythm, but again, you could just let those notes flow into each other if you want. all about personal preference and using this as a concept to build your own licks. So here's this one in full, slowly, and then at full speed. So there you go guys, there are five easy to start with slide guitar licks. So using these licks, you can start to build your own slide guitar lead concepts and have some fun jamming over your favorite blues tracks with a slide in open G tuning. And like I said, you can also transfer these to other open tunings as well. You have to think about the intervals of that specific open tuning, but you can at least use the concept to start building new licks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please let us know down below in the comments what you thought of this lesson. And also, if there are any topics you'd like to see us speak about in future lessons, please put those below as well. Don't forget to check out the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel. There is a bunch more free lessons just like this one. And also, if you're looking for a guitar teacher, please head to mgrmusic.com. There's a network of great teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.